one of the jobs of legal services lawyers is to challenge illegal laws and to challenge illegal administrative decisions that adversely affect the poor, to try to bring about some change for the poor people that really means something. We have the year is 1969. Cruz Reynoso heads one of the nation's best anti-poverty programs. Reynoso is in a tight spot. On one side, his old friend, Cesar Chavez, demands that he support the movement to unionize farm workers. On the other side, Ronald Reagan, California's popular governor, attacks him as a liberal activist and threatens to cancel the program's funding. The legal services of over a million of our nation's poorest citizens and the right to decent housing, health care, and education hang in the balance. The son of farm workers, Cruz Reynoso walked a path where few had gone before. He was a champion of the rural poor, helping them better their lives. He was a trailblazer in his profession, helping many of humble origins attain positions of respect and power. As he advanced, he often found himself in the crosshairs of controversy. Yet guided by a strong moral compass, he was determined to enforce the guarantees of the Constitution for all. Throughout his career as a lawyer, California Supreme Court Justice and Counselor on the national stage, Cruz Reynoso never forgot where he came from or on whose behalf he was fighting. He's as gentle a human being as you can find, and yet he's as revolutionary a human being as you can find somebody who really wants to change the world.